since you were just talking about like you know the New York drill stuff, like it's crazy seeing like the how like drill has now kind of reached every part of the world now. I've had that conversation a lot with like a lot of people from the UK, but even before you came here, we mm. was just chopping up about like there's like Ghana drill, there's like French drill, yeah, Italian yeah, yeah. drill, Australian All over, drill, bro, for sure. I definitely like Ghana drill. I was up on, I was on that like when it kind of hit and shit. Shit be tripping me out, bro. It's just like the culture shit. Niggas be having the culture for real. I didn't even know there was, it was there was a I think it was Calvin Boy. He's a Ghana like Afrobeat artist. He's the one who put me on the Ghana drill. I was like, I didn't even know that this was yeah, even nah, a that thing. Shit is a thing everywhere, like all over, like Australia, all through the like everywhere. Shit it, be crazy. Is it weird for you kind of thinking about like, you know, ten years ago and like how what was going on ten years ago and the music that y'all was creating back then, obviously leading up to now too, has not only had an impact on the United States and like the music out here and yeah. artists out here, but like also like in Italy. Like I haven't gotten to talk to any of these guys from out there, but I'm sure if you ask them, they'll your name will pop up in a lot of those combos as well. Probably so, man. But shit, I mean, it's just it's it's surprising to me because we didn't think it it was gonna even get this big. You feel what I'm saying? Like right. personally, like on a personal level, we probably thought as artists we might blow up, but just in like general, this whole genre of music was gonna turn into a big thing. Yeah. I didn't see it. 